guys, I am back with another video. Sorry I haven't posted in a little while, but today I'm going to be showing you how to make a butterfly box. And if you don't know what that is, keep watching so I can explain it to you. I decided to make this because spring is coming up, but let me explain to you what a butterfly box is. Basically, what it is, is if you find a cocoon or um, a, but a hurt butterfly, you make this box and you put the cocoon in here and wait for it to hatch. And then you keep it in here for a couple days and then you let it go. Or you can basically just find a hurt butterfly and keep it in here until you find, until it gets better. I personally, I personally like to find eggs and then let them grow up into the caterpillars, then put them in here as their cocoons are forming. But you could do it however way you want. The reason why I'm showing you how to make this is because spring is almost here, like I said, and I did see like a couple but butterflies in my yard lately. And I will be making more videos, so stay tuned to that. And if you guys didn't hear, there was a shortage of monarch butterflies, and we're trying to bring them back. So do this if you want to. So, let's get on with the video. So, here's what you need to make the butterfly box. So, what you will need to make the butterfly box is a box. This one's a little bit more longer. You could also do it, um, like... Um, higher. I prefer to do it long ways. Next, you need serene wrap. Pretty much anything that's clear. Then you need tape. You will also need scissors to poke some air holes. Or you could use a pen. Now, this is optional, but if you do want to cut out and make some of these, like, cut out caterpillars or on the bottom here, I did a butterfly. I made this when I was really young, so that's why they're, like, coming off and everything. And this butterfly is not even good. But, yeah. But, yeah, if you want to, you can add, like, decoration. First, I'm going to start off by cutting a little slit like this. So, if I need to, like, put something in there for the butterflies, I just open this flap and put it in and then close it. I don't really use this one anymore because they could probably get out because this one doesn't close as good, but we're going to make that on the other one. Okay, so what I did here is on this side, sorry if it's a little blurry, but on this side I did um, this. The other one was the side. This one, it opens like this so I can stick my hand in there and I give the butterflies what they need and then it closes very good. Got to push it a little bit. But yeah, now we're going to add the serene wrap. And this might use a lot of serene wrap. So don't use um, some rain wrap that you might need. So now we're going to do serene wrap. So um, here I'm just putting the serene wrap on. And this might be a little tricky because serene wrap is tricky sometimes. Really tricky. So, that should be good. And now, let's cut it. I'm just doing this all on camera. I'll see you guys when I cut the link of the serene wrap. So, I cut the link, and now I'm just going to tape it on. And I am also going to do this on camera. It might take me a couple minutes because the tape is new, and I have to get that piece off. So, I will probably see you guys when this is all taped because this is going to take a while okay so i finally taped the serene wrap um like on the top so it's like really good now and it took me about like 10 minutes to tape it all um but yeah now is the time that we um now is the time that we add decorations to the outside if we would like to well if you would like to and i almost forgot before we do decorations let that add, let's add the air holes so really for the air holes, you just take your scissors and the side of your box. And all you do is really just like get the pointy end of your scissor. Be careful if you have a sharp scissor. Uh, scissors. Um, you take the pointy end like this. And then you just poke it through. Oops. Poke it through your box. So it makes air holes like that. And I want to do that a lot of times. And I may make some big because I don't think those are nearly big enough. Like, you can make them big like this. 
like that. That's like an air. That's the air hole that um, I usually make. So you can just make these all around the box so they have air. Okay, so I finally finished the air holes. It took me forever. It took me longer than the saran wrap that longer than their saran wrap that I thought was gonna take me really long. So I did it a lot on this side. I did it a little bit on this side, like two, and then I did it on this side. Okay, so you could stop there, and that could be your butterfly enclosure, but I like to be ready and prepared. So what I usually do is I just take a lid to a container and put it in there, and if I if they want, like if I want to give them fruit, I just give them some fruit for them to suck on in there. But I don't put that until later, and um, um. I usually like make them a little cup like this to put a to put like some um like I forget what the I put I forget what they drink it's it's something with water I forget what it is um but I'm gonna probably look it up and my mom made it last year and we just put it in this little cup and it was drinking it but yeah in my next video if I catch a butterfly I will tell you guys what it is but I forget right now what they drink and everything but yeah, I know you can make it homemade, and my mom made it and put it in this cup last year. So I like to make them this, and you just cut um, a Dixie cup. So that's how you make it. But yeah, that's what I usually do to put in there. But I only usually do this if they're staying in here, uh, I mean in there for like a couple days or something. Or maybe like I'll do it if they stay like for like 24 hours, but... Yeah, that's only if they stay in there for like a couple days, I'll do this. So like I said, now if you want, you can add decorations. Just uh, uh, remember not to cover up the air holes because that's what helps them breathe. Um, but yeah, that is how you make a butterfly enclosure. If you could, you could put some stuff in there that butterflies like, like flowers if they stuck the nectarine out of it. Um, just stuff like that. Um, milkweed if it's a monarch like all that stuff parsley you know all what the butterflies like so yeah i will definitely make a video if um i catch a butterfly i will make a video and put it in here so you guys can see it um but yeah that's what the serene wrap is for like for you guys to see the butterfly in there but yeah that is basically how you make a butterfly i keep dropping that a butterfly enclosure or just um like home i guess i'm not gonna call it cage but yeah that is how you make one and stay tuned for more videos so make sure to like and subscribe to my channel Bye.